this video, I'm going to show you this really versatile way that goes from a natural blowout to this. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Genius Wigs and this is their wet to wavy unit in 16 inches. As you can see, this unit does come pre-plugged and they did a they actually did a really good job in plucking this unit. And the lace on this wig is an undetectable, pre-tinted, transparent lace. So it will blend nicely with light or dark complexions. Now guys, this step right now is totally optional. You guys know I must pluck all my units. I'm just a creature of habit. But as I showed you, this unit is plucked well enough to skip this step. And this is how much I took out. So as you can see, I only lightly plucked it. Now I will tell you guys that this unit is big head friendly. I do have the adjustable elastic bands on the tightest notch. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off in the back. And as you can see, this is a 360 wig. So you can wear it up in a ponytail with no issues. So this wig initially came with the middle part, but guys, I had to wash the wig because I wash all the wigs that I receive nowadays. So I went ahead and I put in the side part. You guys know I love my side part. And now I'm going to just proceed with cutting the lace. And this lace runs a little bit larger than my head and I just lined it up with my hairline and I just cut the excess lace off the one side and as you can see it still fits nicely with my face shape. So I decided I'm going to just go ahead and do a got to be glue install with my gel. And I will apply some of the got to be glue hairspray on the ends just for extra security. Now when I lay my units down, I do like to press it in with the tip of my comb. And I also like to comb it to the back and this is gonna make sure that the hair doesn't stick to your face. And you just wanna repeat these steps on both sides. Once I'm done, I take a damp rag and I wipe off any gel that may have gotten on my face. And I'm gonna just tie this unit down using an elastic band. And I'm gonna let that sit on my head for about 10 to 15 minutes. And as you can see, once I take it off, the lace melts in with my skin. So since I've had this hair pulled up, um, there's a lot of crinks and everything in it. So I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm gonna use that to press this hair out a little bit. Now this is a new hot comb that I'm trying out. I haven't really found the perfect hot plug-in hot comb yet. Um, most of the ones that I get doesn't heat up too well. So if you guys know, have a good recommendation, please drop it down in the comment section down below. This one is really highly rated on Amazon. However, I feel like it's just okay to me and maybe I'm just expecting too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of foundation powder to my part um, since I don't have a ball cap underneath and that's gonna help camouflage the line of demarcation. However, this unit does not have any dark knots. It does come already bleached and and the lace on it will blend well with your skin. Next, I'm gonna proceed and um, go ahead and lay a few baby hairs, but you guys know I don't like to OD too much on my baby hairs. I like them to be a little bit more on the natural side. So I'm just creating little swoops 
and the hairline and pushing it back. I'm not actually cutting any hair to form or create any baby hairs. So they're like teenage hairs. <laughs> They've graduated. <laughs> So um, next I'm gonna just go ahead and um, I'm just adding some of my temporary rents to that little part area. It seems like I might have over plucked it just slightly um, in that one area. And this is just an easy method to clean up those lines to make your part look a little bit more straight. Um, you guys know I don't like a really straight part because I like my parts to look a little bit more natural with the dips in it because that mimics how my hair parts. But however, if you like a straight part, have at it. So dolls, I'm just kind of coming closer to the screen so you can get a really good look at the texture of this hair. The texture of this hair really reminds me of my natural hair blown out and lightly pressed. I really, really like it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this hair curly. I got my water spray. Now I'm just going to saturate this hair with some water and within one to two minutes you can see that this hair just curls right up. Um, and the texture actually changed to like a more silkier texture. Um, but it's not European looking. It actually, in my opinion, fits with my complexion. Um, so it's more like an African-American, Afro-Latina curl, if that makes sense. And now I'm going to just proceed and wet the rest of this unit. look at those curls start to pop I am in love so that's my little happy dance that I'm doing <laughs> but baby can you guys see these curls on this unit they are gorgeous um, and the more you let it dry it's going to get a little bit bigger if you don't want your hair to be big and you want more of that wet look just apply some product you can put some wet line or you can put some mousse in it um, I'll link some in the description box down below and that will help you keep that wet look I like my hair big so I let it air out now I do want to drop a little clip in on what this hair looked like when I initially washed it when I received it. So this is how it dried with no product in it and this is how it dries when I add a little bit of product. But please note that this hair is probably about 85% dry right now. So dolls, if you love this unit like I love this unit, I do recommend purchasing it. The price point is A1, it's super affordable considering what you're going to get. Now, even though this is my first time collaborating with this brand, I have received one of their units before in the past and I sold that unit to my friend and she actually really loves the wig. So it does come recommended from her feedback. And you dolls know I do have a coupon code to save y'all some coins. I'm going to put that across the screen and I'll also link that in the description box down below as well as all the products used in this video as well as the links to purchase this unit if you're interested. So dolls, let me know what you guys think of this unit. Are you guys loving it as much as I am? And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave and join the clan. And as always important, you guys stay slaying, stay blessed, and if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.